Welcome to lecture 23, section 7.3 of the text Elementary Linear Algebra by Ron Larson, 7th edition, Sengage Learning. Symmetric matrices and orthogonal diagonalization. This is Dr. Gilbert Yabi. Lecture goals number one. Recognize and apply properties of symmetric matrices. Number two, recognize and apply properties of orthogonal matrices. And thirdly, find an orthogonal matrix P that orthogonally diagonalizes a symmetric matrix A. Let's start off with a very simple definition, something we already know. Recall that the matrix A is said to be symmetric if A equals A transpose. The matrix A given below is symmetric, and I want you to observe the following property of symmetric matrices. Observe these elements on the main diagonal, 0, 3, 5. Now observe the elements that are in corresponding positions across the main diagonal, 1, 1, negative 2, negative 2, 0, 0. If we have this kind of setup in the matrix, where elements in the corresponding positions across the main diagonal are equal, then we say that the matrix A is symmetric. Let's look at some properties of symmetric matrices theorem. If A is an n by n symmetric matrix, then we can conclude the following. Number one, A is diagonalizable. Interesting. Number two, all eigenvalues of A are real. No complex eigenvalue. And number three, if lambda is an eigenvalue of A that has multiplicity K, then lambda has k linearly independent eigenvectors that correspond to it. I.e., we say that the eigenspace of lambda has dimension k. Definition. An orthogonal matrix. We say that a square matrix P is orthogonal if, number one, it is invertible, it's got an inverse and the inverse of p equals the transpose of p interesting of course if you multiply both sides of this equation by p we end up with i equals p times p transpose where i is the identity matrix of order n so if we're talking about orthogonal matrices, think of matrices such that P inverse equals P transpose or matrices such that P times its transpose equals I. For example, if I ask you to verify that this matrix is orthogonal, all you have to do is multiply this matrix times its transpose. And if it gives you the identity matrix, then you can conclude that p inverse equals p raised to the power t which is transpose and therefore p has to be orthogonal a property of orthogonal matrices theorem an n by n matrix p is orthogonal if and only if its column vectors form an orthonormal set interesting We've seen a new word here, orthonormal. Now, I don't want you to get frightened by this word. It would be discussed in detail in Chapter 5. So if you can go back and go through the lectures in Chapter 5, you would see the definition of an orthonormal set of vectors. But what I want you to remember from this theorem is that if P is orthonormal, then its column vectors will form an orthonormal set. And if these column vectors of a particular matrix form an orthonormal set, then we can say that P is orthogonal. Another theorem 
a property of symmetric matrices. Let A be an n by n symmetric matrix and lambda 1, lambda 2 distinct eigenvalues of A, then their corresponding eigenvectors x1 and x2 are orthogonal. Once more, this is probably the first time you're seeing the word orthogonal with respect to vectors. Two vectors are said to be orthogonal if their dot product equals zero. And that is discussed also in great detail in chapter 5. But again, what I want you to remember from this theorem is that if A is an n by n symmetric matrix and lambda 1 and lambda 2 are distinct eigenvalues of A, then their corresponding eigenvectors are orthogonal. Their dot product equals zero. Let's go ahead and define the idea of orthogonal diagonalization. A matrix A is orthogonally diagonalizable if there exists an orthogonal matrix P such that P inverse times A times P equals a diagonal matrix D. So what have we done? We have diagonalized A but by using an orthogonal matrix P. So we say A has been orthogonally diagonalized an interesting concept fundamental theorem of symmetric matrices recall that as mathematicians we need to know what the fundamental theorem of arithmetic is the fundamental theorem of algebra the fundamental theorem of calculus and so on and so forth well i'm adding one fundamental theorem on your plate the fundamental theorem of symmetric matrices. Let A be an n by n matrix. Then A is orthogonally diagonalizable and has real eigenvalues if and only if A is symmetric. Interesting. So to verify that A is orthogonally diagonalizable, all I need to do is verify that A is symmetric. Interesting. And not just that. If I know that A is symmetric, then I know that A is orthogonally diagonalizable and also has real eigenvalues. This is beautiful. Example. Which matrices are orthogonally diagonalizable? With the fundamental theorem of symmetric matrices, all I have to do is verify which of these matrices are symmetric. Look at A1 and look at the elements on the main diagonal, 1, 0, 1. Across the main diagonal, in equivalent positions, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. And therefore, by the fundamental theorem of symmetric matrices, a1 is orthogonally diagonalizable. Next, A2. Elements on the main diagonal, 5, 1, 0, 2, 2, negative 1, 1. I stop right there. It's not symmetric. And since the fundamental theorem is an if and only if, that also means if it is not symmetric, it is not orthogonally diagonalizable. So A2 is not orthogonally diagonalizable. A3, well, that is not even a square metric, so not orthogonally diagonalizable. A4, this is 0, negative 2, the main diagonal, across the main diagonal, 0, 0. So yes, that is a symmetric matrix. And by the fundamental theorem of symmetric matrices, A4 is orthogonally diagonalizable. That is what I want you to remember from section 7.3. Orthogonal diagonalization of a symmetric matrix. Remember, if A is symmetric, then it is orthogonally diagonalizable. Now, how do you go about orthogonally diagonalizing the symmetric matrix A? Number one. Find all eigenvalues of A and determine the multiplicity of each. 2. For each eigenvalue of multiplicity 1, find a unit vector. Basically, 
find any vector and then normalize the vector again this is a concept that is discussed in detail in chapter 5 step 3 for each eigenvalue of multiplicity k bigger than or equal to 2 find a set of k linearly independent eigenvectors and if this set is not orthonormal again a concept discussed in detail in chapter 5 then apply the gram schmidt orthonormalization process to orthonormalize the set of vectors again chapter 5 i'll refer you back to chapter 5 and if you've executed steps 1 2 3 number 4 the results of steps 2 and 3 produce an orthonormal set of n eigenvectors Use these eigenvectors to form the columns of P. If that is done, then P inverse times A times P would be exactly the same as P transpose times A times P, meaning that P is an orthogonal matrix. And this complete product would be equal to D a diagonal matrix so we would have orthogonally diagonalized the symmetric matrix a an interesting concept thank you very much